Welcome you all back to our next train. This is kind of a challenge. We only used glass in this one. As you can see, the front of the locomotive has a nice shape to it. The inside of the locomotive, though, has a bunny. And it also has a different shape to it, which we made with alternating patterns of crab dolls. This is one of our two locomotive models. This has two tables in the back, just like a dinner cart. Of course, the locomotive has two glass dolls on the side. This is an upside down train. And as you can see, the wheels are nicely engraved into glass. I think that's the best way I can say that. I love how this looks, but it looks kind of weird in a good way. Also, the wheels are connected to the cabin with two of these trap doors, which go down and integrate into the main panel. The floor of all the cabins are clear in the middle and have tiled glasses on the side, with the doors also having two trap doors on the side, which are opened up unlike the rest of this. The middle also has a nice trap door going down, which is separated at every carriage. If we move on to connection points, they have two glass doors on both sides. They can actually be used while you're traveling in most cases. It is kind of buggy. Of course, also, if you look up, you can see the rails and they, you can see them moving. The connection points are also tiled on the side and on the top. This is our main carriage that has the most seats. It has 16 seats in it. And it's our old, normal version. You can look out on both sides and you can also look up. Then we have our next carriage, which is our dinner cart that we are still doing. We have a cactus here, some bamboo, some daisies, and also a sapling. You can sit down at any one of these and you can put stuff on top of it. Then we have another one of my ideas, which is a much smaller private cart that has these nice glass pane and glass trapdoor combinations, which make it have a nice pattern to them with just a seat and a table right next to you, but you can also put items on. And of course we have our normal, plain, basic locomotive that you can actually stand and walk around them without any problems. That's kind of a challenge build as you can see. I think it still looks good, especially for a challenge build that's just made of glass and nothing else. But tomorrow we are going to be returning to normal builds. And this is of course also a return to our upside down trains. That we might have another one coming up from. And I will be back tomorrow with another design. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. And also follow my Twitch where we build these trains every day.